Hey y'all, so I'm back. Uh, got a lot of things to talk about. Also, I just wanted to let you know that the, the direction of this channel will change. Um, of course, I want to get into more of the culture and uh, a lot of a lot of music and reviewing things. So just bear with me. All of this stuff is coming off the head. And, you know, that's what us black people need to do. You need to be more creative and just tap into different things that we haven't probably done before. Um, also, I'm into poetry. So if y'all are into poetry, let me know down below. Um, and just like, subscribe and comment and let me know what y'all want to hear. Um, I, I really do like to talk about broad things broad <laughs> so just bear with me like i said this channel is going to go in so many different directions it's going to make your head spin but you're going to like it and this camera is not focusing so i do apologize about that but as time goes on things will get better anyway so the presidential candidate marianne williamson she's a democrat um Looks like she's talking about $100 billion for slavery reparations. Where's the rest? $100 billion? We were held down in slavery for 246 years and then they systematically made laws to keep us down so a hundred billion dollars is is uh child's play money with for us uh i i really do appreciate her you know even bringing reparations back up because i haven't heard that word in so long uh for african americans i haven't heard it for so long and you know with the holocaust Victims, they did receive reparations in the amount of, I do believe, $89 billion. And also the Native Americans, they received land, tax exemption, and a settlement of money. So it's just like, well, well, dang, if we can't get no reparations, what can we get? What we going to do? What we going to do? Y'all ain't going to fix these schools. Y'all ain't going to give us no jobs. Y'all are going to fill our records up with felonies. What are we going to do? But hey, I mean, these are things that we need to be educated on because the minute y'all see Kamala Harris pop up and, and y'all see a black powerful woman or what you, what you speculate as a black powerful woman and you haven't done your research, then you get amped up by Marianne Williamson's who wants to say $100 billion in repar uh, reparations to us is a logical number. Um, because basically she's not talking about giving it outright to us in cash or into land or anything of that nature. They're talking about giving it to us through a special counsel who uh, will put it towards our economic and educational funds for African-Americans. So, I don't know. Hey, uh, y'all comment down below about how you feel about that. Because I feel as though $100 billion, that's, that's small talk to what we have been through. And oppression is real. Gentrification is real. They are really wiping us out. And if you don't feel affected... You must be in that top 10% of African Americans that are making money and, and thriving out here and good for you. But also think about people in your community that could, you know, use that platform as well. And that's also what I want to do on this channel. I don't want to just be selfish. I want to give a platform to people, artists uh, in our community that, that most people, they don't really put on. You know, we hear about dumb, ignorant rappers all the time and dumb, ignorant stuff all the time. Why not talk about something that's going to affect you in the future? Sorry, I'm shaking the table. This bitch shaking the table. Yes, I am. Because y'all are, are ticking me off with this extra stuff. 
Um, you know, uh, I don't know how to feel about that. I really don't. Also, wanted to talk about the Grammys for a, a second because that's probably how long I'm going to be watching it for a split second. Uh, Motown tribute at the Grammys. What are y'all doing? It is Black History Month and y'all pick Jennifer Lopez? Let me read my notes again because I know I'm tripping. I know it said Jennifer it say Jennifer Jennifer Lopez. I just I don't understand it. I really don't. I I, I can't get jiggy with this. <sighs> so now y'all gonna gentrify music? You mean to tell me we can't have nothing? Not even Motown? I mean, dang, they took Michael Jackson, took him right to the, the skin color that they wanted him. So I, I, I just, I don't understand. But okay, I'm going to watch that. And she better, she better perform like she ain't never performed before. And if I ever heard her sing, like, ah, she better do it at them Grammys for that Motown. She better stump. I don't even want you to move, Jennifer. Just stay still and make sure you sing with your diaphragm. You know what you 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 know what you need to do because you signed up for it. So don't be mad when we we post these memes because these memes are coming. I can feel it. Anyway, so more important news: we have a missing report. This is coming out of Columbus, Ohio. This is for a missing black activist out of Columbus, Ohio. Her name is Amber Evans. It looks like her car was found abandoned um, at a place that she frequents. She was last seen on January 28th of 2019. And this is not on mainstream media. You will not find this uh, on ABC or CBS or anything like that. This is going to be just tucked away within our crevices I think I picked this up on Roland Martin channel. That's the only real mainstream channel. I really did try to search it and nothing really came up. But her family and friends are searching. I don't know if the Columbus Police Department is involved. But if you have seen her, please give them any information because this is serious. Black women going missing at an all-time high. And, you know, it, it, it it's crazy. So they said that the last time she was seen um, on January 28th of 2019, she had had an altercation with her boyfriend. And allegedly the place where her car was found is a place that she does frequent and go to clear her head when she's having a bad day. So I don't know particularly what that means, but um, <sighs> domestic violence is real and in certain situations, you don't want to press the issue. Like if you, if the police show up to somebody's house and they see two people fighting and whatnot and they leave and they figure they're going to get their stuff together and, and, and be okay. Okay, I can understand that. But when you have somebody that has gone missing and they're not picking up their phone or they don't even have it which I don't believe she did have her phone. Um, but like I said, this is a developing story because she's been missing for a week. But just now it's popping up that she's been missing for a week. So we do need to raise awareness. Um, pray for her family. Pray that they they can find her and she makes it home safe. Because, I mean, come on now. She's a whole black activist. So that means she's deep in her community. She's done things for families and people, uh, you know, come on now. If you're not going to support me, at least support these people that are helpless and they can't help themselves. I mean, I just want to give them a, a voice. And if anybody, she deserves it. Um, so Amber Evans... If you can, try to look it up. Try to get more research done. Comment down below if you, you know, heard any more details about this because details are very scarce in the African-American community under these missing circumstances. It's like, 
when are we going to learn? When are we going to wake up? You know, the world woke up about Kanika Jenkins, but we're still sleeping. We're still sleeping. So, I mean, this is just a little something, something I'm going to put up here. Um, also, if you can, go to my Instagram page, LA Show underscore, and go follow that page for more updates on videos. And go to Young LA on Facebook and go like that page. Also, there will be stories that will be posted on there. I'm trying to step back into my writing skills because that is one of my strong suits. And, you know, I'm I'm young, but I'm, I'm figuring myself out and I know what I'm capable of. So just stay tuned. And also, once again, like, subscribe and comment. And thank y'all for watching.